So I have to upgrade this tower to survive a hundred waves of enemies, which this tower does okay on its own. Not too much trouble. And we can give it some upgrades to do better with upgrades like damage, attack speed. But as you can see, it quickly gets overwhelmed and we only made it to wave seven. So what we can do is come back to town and get some materials so we can build a workshop. And then once this is built, we can start to work on improving our tower to get even farther. And we have a skill point, so we can go ahead and get this upgrade, which doubles the chance to randomly unlock new modules. Yoink. That'll be better for us. And then we just have to get as far as we can with this tower so we can get the most amount of materials and continuously making sure it does enough damage to keep ahead of all the enemies. It will get some hits in there, but that's where the regeneration comes in. And we can see what we're facing down here. So they have health of 11. Thankfully, we're doing 14 damage, but now they just got more health. So we need to do more damage. And there's also a lot more of them. So we could go for some more attack speed. And we finally managed to reach the first boss who is only at wave 10. And he's kind of doing some serpentine motion right there. But wow, our tower gets decimated. At least we got a new module, some basic bouncing. And so we just come back to the workshop and we can plug that into our tower right around here. And we can also make some materials to give some upgrades to these so that they give more of a bonus to the tower every time we upgrade it. And we can upgrade our workshop again again to give our tower a little more damage for each offensive module we have. So once we activate some bouncing, it'll have a small chance to duplicate the damage to another enemy. Maybe not duplicate, but you get the idea. We'll just keep upgrading that so it has even more of a chance. And look at that, it just bounced to three targets right there. So that's a pretty good upgrade. It clears out the map a lot quicker. And there should be enough enemies coming in for that to be worthwhile. Here comes the boss. Ooh, it bounces from the boss to the enemies behind it. That's always good. Let's do some more damage. And we took out the boss. Very good. Our tower is learning. Very good. And now we have some green enemies that do a little bit of different damage. And they don't have a lot of health going for them either. But let's upgrade the damage even more. So even though they have 39 damage, our tower is doing 56 right now. I am liking that. Although they are chewing out a lot more of our health. So let's go ahead and keep upgrading our hit points and probably our regeneration. So the only issue is once they get high enough level where they'll have more than 56 health. So there it is. So let's upgrade this again. Now we're doing 64 damage and they are really hitting our health hard. Just got to make sure we stay ahead of it. Not just in the amount of regeneration, but also the amount of total hit points. And these are some chunky enemies coming in here. Let's upgrade the damage one more time and we're barely keeping ahead. But sadly it's not enough we did get a lot of resources from that though and we got a new module some elemental resistance that'll be good for the new guys and we have a lot of materials to play with now so we can plug in some elemental resistance and upgrade this a few times so that we have something to work with once we fight those green guys and we'll also upgrade the other defensive abilities as well there's so many points that we can use i don't even know where to plug them all in a higher chance of bouncing is always good and some more damage so that's everything we can do there and our starting hit points are 94 that's a lot more than before and we have a base regeneration of three points every second which these little guys can't even compete with, which means that we can stack up a lot more XP before we need to use any of it. So we can get five upgrades in each of these slots right away. And we're already doing 64 damage to all the enemies. We can rest easy on that for a while. Let's also get some more regeneration just because I like to see a full health bar. Here comes boss number one. Doesn't last nearly as long. Cannot get even close to the tower. So those are some easy 10 waves, but now we have the green guys coming in. So let's boost our elemental resistance more and also some more bouncing. So right now the green guys are pretty much at the same point that the white ones were. Now, the next thing I want to do is get five upgrades towards attack speed, which we can afford right now. So now we're doing close to two attacks every second. That's really good for keeping up with all these enemies. And so even the chunky guys can't come in. Here's the boss number two. Go on, attack him, attack him. Yes, we took out the second boss. You get some more up damage upgrades for that and some more bounces. Now we have red guys coming in, which thankfully we can take care of no problem at all. Oh, but they do so much more damage to the tower. Let's get some more resistance. And we're pretty much going to be pouring all of our points into resistance. And we're starting on wave 25. So we're already a quarter of the way towards our goal. Just need to make sure our tower can keep up. And it is good that we can attack them before they can attack us. Because wow, when they get grouped up, they do some massive numbers. But now we're at a 15% chance to bounce. And here comes a red boss already. Oh boy. Let's do some damage towards you. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Oh, he almost made it to the tower, but he didn't. Yikes, that didn't matter. I won't say no to a new module, however. A multi-shot. Unfortunately, we can only have three modules at a time, at least until we can get the upgrade to increase our blueprint size. Now we can get this multi-shot in here, give our points a lot of conversion, and then we just make sure that we upgrade the multi-shot a ton of times. 
so that the upgrades are worthwhile. So just at the start, there's a 14% chance for two additional targets. And the basic bouncing is already at 10%. So now we're getting some pretty good starting stats for all of these waves. And the multi-shot is already kicking in. I like it. We'll make sure to give that a good amount of upgrades. Right now, though, I want to increase my attack speed. So now it's above two times a second. Not by much, though, but look at that increase already. I almost feel bad for this first boss. There's no way he can compete with this. And now we're starting to get the elemental enemies, so let's boost that resistance some more. These green guys just go down so easily. Let's increase the chance of multi-shot. And there's no way the green boss is gonna stand a chance against me. It gets a little close, but that's okay. These little guys really don't do any damage. At least any reasonable damage. Let's just increase our health points. Not because I'm worried, just because I like to see bigger numbers. And the red guys couldn't even attack. I like it. Okay, now they're starting to get in range to attack and they still hurt a little bit. Let's increase our hit points. And when the multi-shot kicks in, that really doesn't leave any enemies standing. But now we're starting to get a lot of health. Time to upgrade that again. I may have realized that too late, but we got two modules that time. So what do we get? Earth attack and nature burst. What do those do? I'm really not sure what these do, to be honest, but look at that damage scaling. That does way more than my basic attack. Let's go ahead and replace that to see what we're working with. And we can upgrade this a few times. Maybe I should at least keep the basic attack in there. I'll take out the bouncing. I'm not really using that anymore. And we'll upgrade the chance for multi-shot again and again and again. And the nature burst, because I really want to see what that does. So the nature burst at level 1 does 537 damage. What do you do? Ooh. It does like a little splash of elemental damage for a lot of numbers. 1,024? Already? Wow! That should be pretty good for me, I hope. So it's nature, which means that it probably doesn't do good against the green guys or the red guys. I maybe should have thought about that, but look at those numbers! Oh, how can I say no to that? And the multi-shot is keeping them so far at range, it's amazing. I guess we can see what happens against the boss. All right, Nature Burst, how do you do against the boss? Oh my god! <laughs> it just one-shot the boss, I love it! Okay, so now these are the green guys who are nature. So how does the environment boost work against that? It does get a little bit of a reduction, but it still just one shots everything. And then increase our hit points again. Hello, nature boss. How do you do? You just get decimated. Now I do wonder against the fire enemies. I feel like nature will have even less against them. It still does 500 damage. Oh goodness gracious. I almost feel bad for them. If I can get to the point where I heal faster than they hurt me, then that'll be a good place to be. Sadly, we're not there yet, but here comes the red boss. I don't think he can withstand the nature burst. And okay, Maybe he can, but he goes down all the same. So who's the next element we have to face? Brown. This is Earth. Okay, they don't have a lot of health either. And increase the nature burst because I wanted to. Staying ahead of everybody. Oh, I think they actually get additional damage from nature burst. The base stat is a thousand and yeah, they're taking over 3000 damage. Oh, I like this. Although they are starting to close the gap on how much health they have. So let's keep upgrading that and increase our attack speed some. We'll increase our regeneration to 20 just to look at an even number. And then we just have to wait a few more waves until we can afford some more attack speed. Or maybe just keep boosting the damage. And wow, they do a lot of damage when they get close. My goodness. Here comes a boss. Let's go ahead and, oh, just annihilate him. Wave 40 is complete. Oh, and now we're back to the white pieces. But they do a lot more damage now. Let's get some more health points to keep up with that. And, oh, that multi-shot is so good. At least when it kicks in. Sometimes it doesn't. Just get some more attack speed under our belts. So if I upgrade this five more times, I can get two and a half attacks per second. I think I can wait a few ways for that. They're doing 100 damage per every time they hit me now and they have 400 health. So if it starts to look bad, I'll double back and then upgrade our damage. But we're, oh wow, they took us down to almost half. But I can upgrade the attack speed, so let's go do that. Okay, that's working a lot better already. I do need some more damage though, and here comes the wave 50 boss. Oh, just got double shot by nature burst. Okay. <laughs> this tower is doing better than I thought it would. I do want some more health though. And some more elemental resistance, because these guys are gonna really hurt. If the white ones almost took me out, then imagine what the fire ones are gonna be like. Is it bad that I'm talking about the fire ones already, even though nature just arrived? Ah, well, more damage. Except now that upgrade is getting really expensive. It scales really good against their health, though. 578 damage. I'm doing 30 more than they have health. I think I'll just keep upgrading that. They're moving at a pretty even pace. So as long as everything kicks off, then they can't get close enough, which is good. It is really tempting to upgrade the multi-shot again, though. And now we're at wave 60. So here comes the second nature boss. How good do you hold up? Okay, there isn't a lot of nature burst happening. Oh, but we took him out. Good. 
Oh, he's the one that gave me worry. Oh my gosh, that single attack hurts so bad. Maybe I get some more health while I'm here and some more regen. I'm not sure if I'll make it to wave 100 this attempt, but I'm hoping I can get a nice progression at least. And I'm starting to get worried about these fire guys. So let's just keep pouring into the hit points and some even more if we get basic regeneration up. And we do so much damage against them. They're not going down in one hit anymore, but I'm not really sure how much I can do because the damage upgrade is getting expensive. Oh, we can upgrade it. Aha! And some more resistance really quick. Oh boy, I'm kind of worried about the boss coming in. But we still have to wait a few waves for that. And they still can't get close enough to hit. And we've made nice progression with this nice. run. Oh, we can upgrade the damage again. Aha! Just barely holding on. Wave 70 is here. This has been the best run by far. And there's the boss coming in, coming in, coming in. And oh, he made it pretty far. He let his other minions get close. Uh-oh. No! But we got four modules that run. Nature's touch, wave resources, fire attack, earth resistance, and we have skill points. A lot of skill points. So let's increase our tower's resistance for each defensive module and some better recycling before we go in and convert all of these points 895 points oh yes Ooh, nature's touch gives us regeneration for dealing damage that could help out a lot but the damage doesn't scale nearly as good let's just go ahead and increase our basic attack some our attack speed once and the multi shot several times so that kicks off more often getting that to a 25 percent chance just at the start and then some more health because i could really use it I'm feeling really good about this now. We just, we do 100 damage to start with. Oh, this is ridiculous. And that's before the scaling. So we're actually doing 176, which I think upgrading the resistance is gonna be the biggest thing right now. And attack speed too, because I don't like them getting that close. And we can already get it above two a second. And the multi-shot having a 25% chance to trigger does really good when it triggers. More resistance and some additional hit points and regen. Hello, boss. You're about to have a very bad day. <laughs> I almost feel good enough to just skip a wave so we can just have more enemies coming in because my tower can keep up with it and let's also get some more nature damage just so i can see a lot of it and this might be a bad idea but i'm gonna increase the attack speed 25 times for two and a half attack speed and now that's maxed out we can't increase it anymore actually hello green boss goodbye green boss i just like the idea of saving up a lot of my xp just so i can increase these levels 25 times look at all those hit points i could get or all of that damage it is quite a ways away though but that's no problem when the bosses stand absolutely no no chance. I skipped this wave so they're back to back. Let's just see how my tower does. As expected, it just doesn't care at all. I could increase the multi-shot chance to 35%. Oh, but I really want that damage. Earth boss goes away, lickety split. And now we're actually to the point now where the white enemies are starting to be a problem. If I just hold out a little bit longer, I can increase the attack damage 25 times. Uh oh, I need to Increase that right now. That was getting worrisome. Yikes, they did a lot of damage there. Let's just quickly increase our regeneration and health so that doesn't happen again. And some more multi-shot damage because that didn't happen pretty much at all that wave. But now our basic attacks do 1,500 damage. There's no way they're going to keep up with that. And now our multi-shot has essentially a 30% chance to trigger, which is doing really good. Wave 50 bosses here only get shot twice before dying. Wow. I feel like we're gonna be here a while before the enemies start being a threat. Later. We will stay here in respect of the nice wave, and the wave is very nice indeed. Almost as nice as how fast this enemy's gonna go down. It, it was a little bit slower, I'll give it that. But now we're entering new territory because I haven't completed this batch of enemies in the past. Just in case I'm gonna upgrade to health five times more. Now we have 1250 health. Wave 75 is here. We're three quarters of the way done and I'm feeling really good about this. Okay, now their health is above a thousand. Thankfully, we're still doing 1500 per hit and I can increase the damage more if I need to. If I can hold off on upgrading it so I can get a five times upgrade, then I think I'll be in good hands. They also do 274 damage per hit. I would not last long if they got in range. And the wave 80 boss is here who is taking quite a few hits. Upgrade the damage. Okay. That was a little scary, but we did it. And then we're doing 2000 damage now. The crazy thing is that's not even halfway through the upgrades that this attack can get. Oh, this is not a good day for them. It's even worse if I just keep increasing the damage. And some more multi-shot as well, because I really love seeing the multi-shot do its thing. Beautiful. It really makes me wonder though, how fast they're gonna scale in their health. Wave 85 is done and they got like 40 hit points out of that. And as insurance, I'm gonna get more hit points. Now that would take 125 to increase the multi-shot, which I could feasibly do actually. Wave 90 is here. Here comes the boss and the boss. Okay, 
He actually died pretty much the same spot as everybody else. Ow, they got a hit. Oh, that is some slow regeneration right there. Let's go ahead and increase the multi-shot chance. Yes, just in time for the green guys. We're into the 90s for range. Feeling like a fresh prince right now. So the biggest threat to me at this point is going to be that final boss at wave 100. And since it's the nature enemies, the nature burst is going to have a little less damage to it. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the burst damage. All in preparation for that boss. And let's increase the multi-shot as many times as we can. Oh boy, I'm actually getting kind of nervous. I don't know how tough that last boss is going to be. Okay, last attack upgrade that I can feasibly get. And wave 99, the enemies go down no problem. Oh, that was it. Hey, I thought there was going to be another boss. But we have unlocked some new modes and some desert region, which is good. And we can get some accessories for our town as well. Look at that. We can just start to decorate it with trees and everything. Oh, only one tree. That's fine. A tree will get a rock. Never mind. Tree is by his lonesome. I guess not everyone deserves a friend. But there's a lot more upgrades that we can get in the future. So if you guys want to see more of Perfect Tower 2, then be sure to let me know. I'm really enjoying this game. And thank you very much for watching. Sub to Intern. And I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Purple 1, Agent Elixir 1, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ally B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, Peggy Sue O, and Droopalong.